What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video here today. We're going to talk about this recent rumor that's come out and I'll mostly be discussing how Kirby Reed could be useful in a potential Scream 7 if she were to return. Hayden Pantsier that being, which I don't really think she's going to come back. We'll talk about that. We're going to also talk about Saw 11. We're going to talk about this upcoming horror project with Jessica Roth and another fan favorite. We'll be talking about Chucky lastly. So just to start off with with scream scream seven kirby reed has a line in scream six where she's like i take a special interest in ghostface attacks or something like that naturally me and many others assume she was just referencing her experiences in scream four however it's of course possible she was looking back on ghostface attacks in atlanta that she's helped solve as well jason and greg being the biggest examples of such possibilities and activities those two are also the first major sign of spinoff potential for Ghostface beyond the characters we come to love during Scream 1 through 6. Kirby Reed carrying the Scream film with a new group of kids doesn't sound horrible in my head and it wouldn't be a it would be a lot more digestible honestly to have her back have some sort of returning star back with the newbies i get that however the objective fact still remains we don't need them in order to make scream 7 you don't need any returning stars that does not then mean that it is going to be a box office success but whether it is a success or not you still can make scream movies without returning stars it's just going to then be up to us to consume to tell spyglass if we are open to seeing movies without our lovable characters which again i don't think the general public really cares that much but i'll find out if they even move forward with rebooting scream 7 the way it keeps being allegedly rumored now still i would much rather see kirby reed again before sydney prescott for the upteenth time i just want sydney to stay alive at this point and the best way to make that possible is to stop writing her into these movies kirby has only appeared in two of the six films so a third outing wouldn't be the biggest sin for this franchise splitting the story potentially between kirby and the new teens could allow us to better understand how jill spree impacted her life because we get to spend a lot more time with her the only shades of it that we see are in scream six when she has this look that she gives towards jill's clothing during the shrine sequence and the one-on-one -on -one that she has with Tara. Kirby could be brought in per the request of the Atlanta PD if Scream 7 is taking place in Atlanta. The true crime narrative that I propose centering on a person who despises true crime and believes that it's harmful to the youth of America, they end up surviving an opening attack from Ghostface only to become Ghostface themselves in an act of revenge once learning they were part of a sick game that they could still or once learning they were part of a sick game that they were like a bet of the week as i mentioned in my previous video all of that could still apply and kirby essentially can become a target because this person decides that it's time to start picking off the remaining survivors and kirby is right there so why not use her start with her to set up the potential plot thread of what could be scream 8 i wouldn't kill kirby but some damage is done to her to the point that ghostface believes that she's dead that is how i could find kirby reed useful in scream 7 if hayden pantier were to return and again i know that her presence would make a reboot spinoff whatever you want to look at it as i would still keep it in the same world the presence of some sort of returning star would make the story a lot more digestible to diehards like myself and many others so allegedly though there has been some significant progress on Scream 7, and we could be getting a big announcement this month. This rumor comes from Beyond the Mask, who did not say that this was in fact going to 100% happen, just reiterated that it was a rumor that they've heard. My guess, best guess would be that they've locked down the director, but I've seen speculation surrounding a massive announcement for Nev Campbell and other returning stars. I guess we'll see. I haven't heard anything as I'm actively losing interest in this project, not gonna lie, but I actively was losing interest in Jeepers Creepers 4 as that was moving along and I kept covering that. Scream 7 is not gonna be any different because of course there could be a plethora of things that await us in the future that could easily get me excited for the project once again. Now, we're gonna jump into Saw 11. A site known as TV Movie sat down with Kevin Gruder towards the end of last year and asked him where he liked saw 11 to take place he said i would like to see a saw movie set in prison in the near future but i don't want to reveal any more details in case the film gets the green light at some point now see it's those last few words that make me kind of question what he's saying 
and gold did he already reveal where saw 11 is taking place and we all missed it Gruder already expressed interest in bringing back characters like Cecilia. So do Amanda and John and Hoffman, I assume, possibly break into prison to take care of Cecilia once and for all. But then I also go, if she's there, why didn't she snitch on John? So perhaps if prison is the setting, it's likely just going to be for a bunch of newcomers and a story that I have no idea how we would even end up in prison. I do think that this location would have a lot of potential if it ends up actually being relevant to Saw 11. Then, however, unfortunately, after discovering this article, I wasn't really given the brightest updates on us going to prison. So we'll have to wait and see. But prison in a Saw film, that sounds like a match made in heaven. It sounds like it has a lot of great potential for the story if used correctly, using the surroundings correctly and just making it very gruesome in nature prison itself is a is a scary concept if you're not scared of prison maybe you've been to th been through some things that i don't know about but prison is a scary concept to me <laughs> the, the thought of just spending your life there that's very scary and then toss in these maniacs that put you in these traps that's even more scary but diving into this upcoming project with fan favorite in the horror genre jessica roth and another person Jessica Ross' next horror project has been confirmed by Deadline today. She is starring in Titan alongside Kiana Madeira from Fear Street, or the girl that everyone kept saying looks like Eliza Dushku, if that helps you remember her. Titan is set against the backdrop of Brazil's Caruca River in the present day when a team of young doctors embark on a local humanitarian mission through the amazon rainforest it soon becomes clear that not everyone or everything is happy to see them their arrival draws the attention of an ancient predator the baluna this ancient killer dominant on land and water clashes to reclaim the jungle the ensuing fight for survival blurs the roles of hunter prey and hero now this was also apparently written by ally McElroy, who was responsible for halloween 4 and wrong turn favorite horror films of mine and i'm sure many of yours it sounds enticing enough and I'm down for any new horror project that Jessica Roth is in if I can't get that Happy Death Day 3 or Freaky Death Day, the crossover with her and uh, Newton. It sounds like this will be a creature feature as well, so I'm definitely tuned in for this one to see how this turns out. And the last thing we're going to talk about here is Chucky related. So Fangoria over on Twitter today tease something related to chucky dropping tomorrow at 11 p.m pacific so about 2 p.m eastern my time i'll be watching madam webb because i don't love myself i and many others believe that this will be tied to chucky season three part two my speculation right now is that fangoria could be potentially dropping a trailer that announces when the series will return from its hiatus if not that maybe a new film will be announced that's probably the highest unlikely possibility <laughs> With our luck as a fandom, it's probably just going to be a disappointing announcement like merch or some other collab with Fangoria that has jack to do with the show or a new movie. And maybe it's a Megan crossover announcement. I'm just spitballing what this could be. I wouldn't really get my hopes up for it, but I thought I should draw attention to it for all of the Chucky fans out there who are eager to know when this show could potentially be returning because we were led to believe it would be back in May, courtesy of an article from Sci-Fi, one of the networks that aired the show, but then that was quickly stripped away and now we're left in the dark again. So we'll see if Fangoria is going to deliver the goods tomorrow or if it's just going to be something related to merch and something I really couldn't care less about. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.